There are a lot of amazing drugstore foundations out there, and by using other products I already know work with my skin, it's easy to create beautifully finished foundation. So please keep watching for the full tutorial. I'm first going to prime with Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. I love this primer for every day because it has a high SPF 30 and a little bit of tint that makes my skin look so healthy and glowy. For more coverage, I'm using two drugstore products, Revlon Color Stay Foundation and Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I just popped the top off and now when I twist it, it just dispenses. I removed the sponge applicator from the top of the concealer because I thought it would get too dirty, so instead I'm applying with a brush to the under eyes. The reason I haven't been using concealers is I worry about anything looking too heavy or unnatural, especially under the eye area. So I usually just avoid it, which I know I shouldn't because I have really dark areas. Concealing under the eye and around the inner corners will cover dark circles and make your eyes look bigger, brighter, and more awake. That makes a big difference. The side just looks completely lifted and brighter. I try to work with as little product as possible to make blending easier and avoid a buildup of product that will crease under the eyes. I'm also using the flat side of this brush to pat the concealer into my skin where I want the most coverage. Blend out the concealer completely and save any spot concealing for after the foundation. I'm so impressed. I think this performs as well as a high-end concealer for a drugstore price. It does also contain an anti-aging ingredient. I think it makes such a big difference. It's so easy to use. I like that it's so lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. This is the only type of concealer that I will wear underneath my eyes. Next I'm using the Revlon Color Stay in Fresh Beige with my damp beauty blender. Start applying foundation in areas that need the most coverage and then blend out. I'm using a beauty blender to press the foundation into my skin to really minimize the appearance of pores. A foundation brush will also work great if you prefer that method or you want more coverage. I find that the beauty blender does sheer out foundation a bit, but in exchange you get a really blended skin-like finish. This foundation does set pretty quickly, so I try to move fast. Working in smaller sections of your face will prevent this foundation from drying too quickly, and don't forget to blend some foundation down onto your neck. To set my foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever HD Powder and a fluffy brush from Coastal Scents. This HD powder is very soft and silky. It gives a flattering blur to my skin while also setting my foundation. A great dupe for this is the e.l.f. HD powder, which I also love. This is my all-time favorite bronzer. It's by Sephora in the shade Los Cabos. I'm going to angle the brush upwards to really carve out my cheekbones. Using a powder in light strokes will not disturb the foundation underneath. I like to add bronzer all around the edges of my face to warm up my complexion and give depth to my features. For a really simple nose contour, I'm squeezing this brush to make it more dense and then striping a little bit of bronzer down the bridge of my nose. This is the Balm Blush in Hot Mama. This blush is going to the apples of my cheeks and blending into the bronzer. For the most natural look, I smile and use circular motions. Next, this highlighter from e.l.f. is only $2. This small brush really makes sure I don't get too out of control. I'm carefully placing highlighter to my cheekbones and cupid's bow to give my skin some glow. I chose a buxom lip gloss for today. These glosses have a tingly, minty, plumping effect. This mini is from one of their amazing holiday sets. And here is a finished look. If you like my eyes in this video, the tutorial for that eyeshadow is linked below. Please subscribe to my channel and join me in becoming a bombshell. Thanks guys.